So, let us take today the second part of this acid anhydrides. So, in the carboxylic acid we have a OH function attached to the carbonyl. This OH if it is suitably replaced by the different groups we are getting the acid derivatives. We have already seen that when this group is replaced by a another carboxylic acid the OH and H goes this entire group uh, of the another acid enters here. So, therefore, you will get a RCO OCOR. So, this new group this is called acetoxy or acyl oxy. So, in the place of hydroxy we have a acyl oxy group uh, such a compounds are called acid anhydrides. In fact, uh, you too can show like this also. If two carboxylic acids lose say a water molecule right like this. If there are two molecules uh, loses this water molecule you will get this compound is not it. So, by adding the water in fact uh, anhydrides may be converted to two carboxylic acids. Two carboxylic acids by removing the water you can get that one. So, that is why it is rightly said this compound is anhydride means no water. So, the water is there it is two acids. If water is not they removed water this is formed. So, that is why it is called acid anhydrides water not containing. In fact, anhydrides are anhydrides as long as there is no water availability to that. If water is added without any catalyst or heating something like that directly immediately they give back the acid because acids are more stable than the anhydrides. So, acids to anhydrides you need a catalyst like P2O5 and heating is necessary, but from anhydride to acid it is a spontaneous reaction just add water you will get back in fact, we will get some heat also because the reaction is the exothermic reaction. So, now the, the anhydrides how do you name it? So, this is the original alk, alk containing a some new compound. So, these two are uh, treated as identical because both comes from the same compound. So, one side if you say it is understood the other side also said in fact, two alks are there this side they are not in continuous let us say two carbon this side two carbon this side the root word is not four because a oxygen is there in the center. So, this two will be the only the longest chain or the root word. So, this is called ethanoic anhydride. So, they are said as this is taken as alk an oic anhydride alkanoic anhydride. Here it is taken grant that the alk is repeated twice if it is not really the identical for example, if you have a both the sides two carbons only then this is a derived from the acetic acid. So, commonly can be said as a acetic anhydride or two carbon eth, ethane oic ethane oic anhydride ethanoic anhydride. Commonly this acid is acetic therefore, it is also can be said as a acetic anhydride acetic anhydride. So, it is understood that both the sides uh, will be identical because they are prepared from a one compound acid itself. So, therefore, so ethanoic anhydride you need not to say diethanoic anhydride it is understood that anhydride means two acids what are the two acids only one is mentioned means it is taken grant both are ethanoic. But in a case that if one side is one carbon acid okay, like this. So, H with the C O O the other side is two carbon. So, one side is formic acid the other side is acetic acid. So, in such a case then the nomenclature will be slightly different both one after the one you have to say alkanoic, alkanoic and hydrate this starts from M, this starts from E, ethanoic, methanoic. So, in always systematic procedure alphabetical order is allowed. So, first say ethanoic, ethanoic, methanoic, anhydride. 
whereas in the common nomenclature uh, in fact the common nomenclature has no much uh, the hard and fast rules even then common men like to say the smaller one first finish the small job first then go for the bigger one that is the order therefore smaller one is formic acid so therefore it is said formic and acetic formic acetic anhydride both you have to say because it is origin from the mixture of formic acid and acetic acid so both you have to mention if i say acetic anhydride it will be like this if i say methanoic both the side methanoic and uh, meaning comes therefore to this type of uh, anhydrides are called unsymmetric uh, not asymmetric asymmetric means chiral this is unsymmetric or uh, mixed type of anhydride mixed means two different acids uh, giving this type of the anhydride now let's go for the how these uh, the anhydrides are preparation that is preparation of the acid anhydrides so let's see some preparation methods one method is direct from the carboxylic acid so when you take any carboxylic acid except a formic acid because formic acid itself is unstable and its anhydride is also unstable so except formic acid all acids uh, when you heat it with p2o5 two carboxylic acids involve and generate the anhydrides this is the one simple method of preparing the anhydride the water removed from the two acids goes with the p2o5 and the corresponding phosphoric acid is uh, formed the another method is a derived method take one carboxylic acid in the form of acid chloride better another one you take in the form of the salt the salt can be sodium potassium or ammonium salt and so on let us take ammonium acetate and acetyl chloride okay right now this cl and the ammonium that is the acetate anion shows a nucleophilic substitution reaction very much favorable reaction the only thing is this is nucleophilic substitution at acyl carbon not on the alkyl halide on the acyl carbon nucleophile replacing because acetate anion is a stronger one than the cl minus so it can be readily replaces we have already seen the concept of uh, so this uh, acid chloride is number 1 and hydride is number 2 always a uh, one can be converted to 2 2 2 3 3 2 4 that side conversions are favorable so i said this type of reaction is there uh, acid chloride when you add even acid also comes uh, but better take a salt ammonium chloride will be out uh, and you will get this type of the conversion will become easy this is by cutting adding acid also you can so therefore the process you can say just like hydrolysis ammonolysis you can say this is an acidolysis reaction so acid chlorides undergoes acidolysis to give the anhydrides formation the anhydrides may also be formed uh, in one or two slight uh, variation methods like uh, when acetone is on pyrolysis will give a, a methane plus a ch2 double bond c o is formed that is this is a, a ketene the ketene on adding the another mole of acetic acid commercially the anhydride can be prepared pyrolysis of uh, the acetone to give the ketene that ketene on addition with acetic acid anhydrides can be prepared the there are some interconversions are allowed like uh, the anhydrides if the bigger anhydrides are there they are stable so therefore using the small anhydride bigger anhydrides can be prepared like for example propanoic acid when you treat it with acetic anhydride acetic means a smaller anhydride smaller anhydride is a more reactive more less stable so more reactive so it will take the water from this molecule this water is removed the same water is adjusted there so this becomes into propanoic anhydride 
this becomes into propanoic anhydride and the an acetic anhydride is becoming into the 2 moles of acetic acid. So, the concept is clear here the bigger anhydrides can be prepared by using the smaller anhydride because smaller anhydride is more reactive. So, that will convert bigger one into similar the case with the another type also cyclic anhydrides also more stable like for example, if benzene with 1 COOH benzoic acid side by if there is a one more uh, COOH like uh, the thalic acid this type of the isomer 2 COOH side by side is called thalic acid. This thalic acid when you use acetic anhydride, acetic anhydride becomes into 2 moles of acetic acid by taking the water from this one. So, the water is removed and be this becomes into thalic anhydride. Similarly, the corresponding open chain compounds like a cyclic a forms. So, a carboxylic acid of a dicarboxylic acid containing a 4 carbon this is called succinic acid commonly. This also by using the acetic anhydride you can convert into the 4 carbon with one oxygen a 5 membered ring that is a cyclic anhydrides uh, are also found to be more stable than a open chain anhydride. So, using open chain anhydride cyclic anhydrides can be prepared. So, succinic acid gives the succinic anhydride. So, by heating with anhydride this anhydride takes away water from the succinic acid gives the succinic anhydride. So, higher anhydrides can be prepared from lower anhydrides, cyclic anhydrides can be prepared from the open chain, the carboxylic acids can be converted into cyclic anhydrides. But uh, the best method is uh, acid chlorides reacting with the sodium or potassium salts of the carboxylic acid when you treat. Uh, this is a, a sort of interconversion in fact one becoming into two is very favorable reaction. So, therefore, the best method happens to be the acid chlorides undergoing acidolysis to give the anhydride is the best method. Now, let us go for the some of the properties of this uh, anhydrides. The first is the anhydrides are very reactive towards water. All anhydrides including this cyclic anhydrides also react with water and open up into the acids just by adding the water no heating not even a catalyst also 2 moles of carboxylic acid will be formed plus liberation of heat also you observe that shows anhydrides are more reactive or less stable when compared with the carboxylic acids. This you can claim it is as a hydrolysis reaction it is a spontaneous the second one is a conversion into other derivatives. Conversion into other derivatives. What are other derivatives? If I take this anhydride as a number 2, we have the number 3 and the number 4 that is acid the esters and the acid amides. So, anhydrides OCOR when you treat it with the alcohol better is with the again salts sodium or potassium or ammonium salts if I take the alkoxy group uh, will replace this uh, acetoxy group successfully and you will get the ester formation. This is a esterification reaction and uh, anhydrides uh, this acetoxy group being a weaker base and alkoxy being a stronger one it can replace and you if I use alcohol you can call it as a alcoholysis reaction alcoholysis reaction. So, anhydrides undergo alcoholysis to give the esters plus this acetoxy plus hydrogen one mole of carboxylic acid will be formed. The derivatives also can be this is obviously the derivative number 2 
So, 2 can be converted into the 4 also. Here, 2 is converted to 3 that is ester. Now, 2 also can be converted either by adding the ammonia alone or salt of ammonia that is sodium amide or potassium amide and so on such salts when you add the NH2 minus uh, will replace uh, this acetoxy and you will get the amide formation. Only ammonia also you can add. If you add ammonia you will get a first may be the salt is formed corresponding acid salt, but finally you will get this uh, the ammonia breaks up one side acid one side the amide is formed one other derivative may be the acid. So, the aminolysis reaction this is called anhydrides undergo alcoholysis and aminolysis. Acid chlorides undergo acidolysis to in the preparation to give the anhydride, but the anhydrides undergo two important conversions because they stand number 2 in the list 2 can be converted to 3 2 can be converted into the 4. So, these two conversions also very um, conceptual and in several reactions also you find this type of the interconversions uh, readiness in the, the properties of these uh, derivatives. Third property of the acid anhydride they are used in as um, acylating reagent acylating reagents. just like as we have seen in the acid chlorides here also the n acylation and uh, o acylation and the c acylation all are favorable reactions just like a uh, aniline for example aniline gives a with acetic anhydride ac2o beautifully the amino group can be acetylated. So, the RCO group if you want you can use this type of the anhydride, but acetic when I used acid then let us write CH3 only acid group comes if you use amon some other anhydride you will definitely corresponding one. O acylation phenol for example, phenol can be converted into their corresponding acylated products. Benzene can be converted into the acylated products. The last reaction is a CH 3 CO O CO with CH 3 in presence of uh, like aluminum chloride when you heat it, it breaks up into minus part and plus part. The plus will be there on the carbon and this acts as an electrophile substitution reaction. The electrophile attacks and this reaction happens to be a, a well known reaction called a Friedel and a Crafts, Friedel Crafts acylation. Friedel Crafts acylation. It is a very popular reaction in which acid group is used. Uh, the acid groups uh, attacks on this one and then generate this type of reaction. There is one very much favorable that is synthesis is also there. This is known as Haworth synthesis. Haworth synthesis. In the synthesis we use the uh, original starting material will be the benzene. The benzene is treated with the succinic anhydride. Succinic means what a 4 carbon dioic acid with a cyclic one. In presence of the uh, aluminum chloride or Lewis acids like BF 3 and so on. Now, it cuts into plus and minus the plus will attack here there will be one hydrogen is not it. That hydrogen is replaced and this electrophile enter where this hydrogen goes hydrogen will go to the O minus and become say this hanging group type uh, reaction you observe. A acid group is introduced, but it will have the two carbons plus CO O minus and with this hydrogen OH is formed. 
So, this is a COO H group now. This later on subsequently one after the one. First what you do is you do the Clemenson reduction. Clemenson reduction means what a concentrated HCl and zinc amalgam. The CO group reduce it to CH2. So, it will become a COOH right. Now, make into an acid chloride once again do the internal claim that is fiddle craft reaction first convert into the acid chloride by PCL5 or thionyl chloride make into an acid chloride once again do the fiddle crafts uh, acylation by uh, acid chloride it is the, it will react and you will get the a benzene side by a ketone is formed that also reduce uh, using the Clemenson you will get a saturated system. So, one Clemenson reduction once again if you apply you will get the one benzene one saturated system. The saturated system may be converted into the two benzene system which is called what a naphthalene by applying the palladium and the carbon if you heat it excess hydrogens which are there in this saturated system will be removed and that also will become into aromatization takes place. So, you will get a two aromat. So, finally, it will become a, a conversion of benzene into the naphthalene. So, this is a preparation of beautifully naphthalene preparation, naphthalene preparation from benzene. So, it is synthesis why I am calling synthesis means uh, the smaller molecules available are cheaper the substances when you take and suitably if you convert into a bigger compound then that is called synthesis. So, it is really a wonderful synthesis but by applying a simple techniques like in the step 1 we use the fiddle crafts acylation using the anhydride as a starting the reagent on the benzene. So, this is fiddle craft acylation then a Clemenson reduction the CO will be reduced to CH2 keeping the acid and as well as the double bonds in the ring will be intact in this reaction. So, the CO is reduced to CH2 then COOH with PCL5 or thionyl chloride will be converted into a acid chloride then subsequently a fiddle craft acylation within the ring reaction a ring is generated. So, two rings will be there. So, because of the Clemenson reduction the CO is reduced to CH2 even that now the excess hydrogens 4 hydrogen this is called tetrahydronaphthalene. This tetrahydronaphthalene if you remove the hydrogens by applying the palladium carbon naphthalene is generated. Instead of this uh, the succinic anhydride if I have a, a another benzene side by this is called what a now thalic anhydride. Even the same reaction takes place with this thalic anhydride the same reaction only thing is what is that. So, there will be a ring will be there there will be a ring will be there here will be a ring will be there here also will be a ring extra ring. So, here a, an extra ring that is called now anthracene is called what anthracene if three rings are there it is known as anthracene. So, now we are able to prepare anthracene that is three benzenes uh, containing molecule with the benzene from the benzene. So, this is also called Haworth synthesis starting from benzene to the anthracene using the thalic anhydride the same reactions everything is same a small extension of that uh, one aromatic ring extra is there both are very excellent reactions uh, using this uh, the application of this is anhydrides used as a acylating agents. Let us go for the another property that is a uh, anhydrides are used as dehydrating agents dehydrating agents. As we have seen uh, the aldehydes uh, when they react with uh, NH 2 OH uh, they form a uh, products called aldoxymes. So, the aldoxymes uh, preparation is nowhere connected with the anhydrides, but these are called uh, aldehydes are used uh, to get this one. So, they are called aldoxymes. Aldoxymes now when you use anhydrides like acetic anhydride this is the application I want to say. When acetic anhydride is used uh, anhydrides will be in search of water because they are anhydrides even they are if exposed to the moisture also atmospheric gave moisture also they will be absorbed. 
So, when they are treated with aldoxymes, uh, there is water is there. So, that water will be absorbed by the acetic anhydride or corresponding anhydride that converts into the, um, the acetic acid, 2 moles of ACOH is formed. And this side, the alkyl that is aldoxime will become into a, a cyanide, this is called a nitriles, alkyl cyanide, alkyl cyanide or aldoximes are formed. This is the one of the good application on the aldoximes only. However, if the another R is there, ketoximes will come. The ketoximes in the Lewis acids are in the anhydrides, they undergo Beckman reaction, that is totally different reaction. Only aldoximes undergo dehydration to give the alkyl cyanides, right. This is the one application. However, as I said, cyclic uh, the anhydrides in the preparation are thalic, thalic acid will give thalic anhydride, it is a dehydration only. Succinic acid will give succinic anhydride with the help of the, the acetic anhydride. So, in such cases also anhydrides can be used as a dehydrating or in the any substance if I want to make it dry, the anhydrides can be also used. Let us go for the another one useful the reaction. This is a the condenses anhydrides condenses with the aldehydes like benzaldehyde. The reaction is known as a um, Perkin condensation. Perkin condensation. An example in the carbonyl compounds uh, we have taken, let us take a suitable example benzaldehyde is taken and the this side I will take a acetic anhydride. The condition required actually is a this side you can take any aromatic aldehyde, the other side a you must take a anhydride which contains a minimum of 2 alpha hydrogens. So, we have 3 hydrogens therefore, the reaction taking place like this. What is the, the reagent that will take away this water is the same anhydrides sodium salt of the acid that is acetic anhydride. So, I will take acetic acids sodium salt or potassium salt of the sodium acetic anhydride if I take sodium acetate propanoic acid if I take sodium propanoate, but when you take propanoic anhydride see that the only alpha hydrogen 2 alpha hydrogens only undergo this type of the condensation. So, though you take a long chain alpha hydrogens only condense because they show hyperconjugation or they are tautomerizable, inalizable or acidic or more react. So, that hydrogen say will undergo condensation. So, finally, what comes is a water molecule will be removed. This water molecule the moment it is formed there is an anhydride is there. So, therefore, the same water molecule will add up here and break up into the two pieces one side acid the other side acid. This acid is condensed with this one. So, therefore, net reaction will become. So, benzaldehyde is condensed with the half of the acid. So, that is CH and COOH. This is half of the anhydride. The other side another anhydride that is acid will be formed. This will be totally detached from the system. Hope you got the, the reaction mechanism also. The mechanism is actually acetate anion will take away the proton anion will come that will attack. This follows the all the footsteps of the, the aldol condensation, the alpha hydrogen removal that is alpha proton removal, carbon ion will attack here, O minus will take back the proton, the OH that is beta hydroxy to carbonyl, beta hydroxy alpha hydrogen second time water is lost or in a nutshell you can say two hydrogens from that side O is removed as water that water is adding on the anhydride undergoes a, a hydrolysis type of the reaction open up of the anhydride half of the acid is rejected or uh, removed from the main compound other half is condensed with the acid. If I take a long chain for example, the same reaction if I use propanoic uh, anhydride right. Uh, now, this is a good question because it is an application part. So, many books takes benzaldehyde and acetic anhydride gives the reaction. The same question will never come in the JE because this is the standard equation said in all the are accepted in all the books. This is called application always application is important. This same type of the 
all the anhydride, but little one more carbon. Do not take this hydrogens and condense because I have shown CH3 2 hydrogens can no that is not the point I said. So, the alpha hydrogens will condense with this one not the, the next carbon next carbon only alpha hydrogen therefore, answer will be this carbon is condensed. So, benzaldehyde carbon with uh, this carbon second carbon. So, what about that CH3 you write either up or down, but you write this CO1 this is propanoic acid second carbon is condensed. So, this is called a uh, again the same type of the compound 1 CH3 is extra because the CH3 I have taken extra in this one. So, this commonly known as cinnamic acid, cinnamic acid is a common name for this compound benzaldehyde with the acetic anhydride condensed product is known as cinnamic acid. I can call it as a 2 methyl cinnamic acid, 2 methyl cinnamic acid or methyl cinnamic acid. Okay, right. So, that uh, now the byproduct will be the propanoic acid. So, this is a, a one name reaction uh, in the anhydrides and anhydrides condenses with the an aromatic carbonyl compound like uh, benzaldehyde and the alpha hydrogens only condense not the last hydrogens which are present in the anhydride that is the wonderful concept based on that we have some reactions. One of the beautiful application is also there another reaction a benzaldehyde containing OH side by is called salicyl aldehyde is known as salicyl aldehyde. This can be in turn can be prepared from the phenol phenol from the Riemer timer reaction using chloroform KOH you can introduce say, an aldehyde at ortho as well as para leave the para the ortho one is specifically called salicyl aldehyde. This on Perkin condensation with the acetic anhydride what you will get is an acid group is generated that is attached condensed here. This acid uh, has got one plus point what is that? this OH is very much close to this one therefore, a mild heating on this particular cup this is nothing but the hydroxy cinnamic acid ortho hydroxy cinnamic acid on heating loses a water molecule one more ring is generated already one benzene ring is there right. So, now this uh, side to this benzene ring uh, there is an uh, ester ring is formed this is an unsaturation however this is original benzene side to that another ring is formed with an a, a intermolecular type of the cyclic ester it is the cyclic ester is called lactone. So, it is a one example for the lactone and has a common name called a coumarin it is known as the coumarin is a very good a anticoagulating agent. So, by heating this orthohydroxycinamic acid gives a compound in which a what functional group you have? This is a, a ester it is actually R C O O R. If it is not there, this is R C O O R. So, the and both are attached. So, it is a cyclic ester. Cyclic esters are called lactones. So, it is an example for the lactone. Lactones are nothing but the cyclic esters. Cyclic amides are called lactams. Now, this is a cyclic ester, it is a lactone commonly known as coumarin used in the anticoagulating agent that is in the heart um, patients uh, this medicine will be useful.